Alright guys, uh, Steve the Car Guy here. The purpose of this video is to show you how to check the oil in your car. I've got a, you know, a funnel and I've got some extra oil in case we need it. And this is where you'd go ahead and put the oil in. And right here what you want to look for is it's going to be yellow guys. Uh, I've seen a couple cars, maybe it's orange. But for the most part it's or it's, uh, it's going to be yellow. If it's red, it's transmission. You don't, need, you don't not need to be interested in that. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull the dipstick out here. And what I like to do is I like to wipe it off. Um, just to go and get it clean, kind of try from a dry a slate, and I'll also clean slate, so to speak, and I'll show you. Basically, guys, what you see here is, on this particular car, I don't know if you can see it in the video, it's got a minimum and a maximum, and it's got some ridges in the middle right there. So basically, if you're at the max where the arrow was pointing, that's going to be um, your maximum capacity for the operating range. If you're at the minimum, that's going to be at the minimum capacity for operating range. Uh, basically, what shows, you know, in these four little ridges in between there, it's each one's probably going to represent about a quarter of a quart. So let's see, that'd be a quarter of a quart, half, three quarters, and a full quart down. Yeah, so, and you can also sometimes look at it from the back here too if you want, because sometimes these ridges get a little bit filled up, which is why I go ahead and wipe this down. Obviously, normally I'd be using two hands to wipe this down, but I'm using one hand to hold the phone so I can do this video. So basically, that's what you have, people. Um, manufacturers recommend that this particular vehicle has four and a half quarts of oil in it. So that would be at the max line, would mean it have four and a half quarts. If you go down to the minimum, that'd be three and a half quarts. If you're within that operating range, you're safe to drive the vehicle. It's obviously best to keep it, you know, near the maximum as close as you can. But obviously, you know, if you're half a quarter, two thirds of a quarter, even a quart down, um, you know, you're probably not really going to hurt the engine too much, especially not abusing the car and redlining it and going in for long hauls and stuff like that. But it is pretty good to check the oil. Um, basically, when I change my oil, I check it. Pro I check my oil probably every couple of weeks you know if you happen to notice anything on the ground or anything like that any drops and definitely check it more often but yeah, every, every couple three weeks i'll check the oil and see where it's at and if it gets down to about more than half a quart down then i'll top it off a little bit but generally speaking you know you want to keep within that operating range you do not want to overfill the engine people um if you overfill the engine that's going to be the same thing as um, you know, like a high blood pressure situation in a person. You're going to blow a seal, you're going to put pressure on the rings, and it's going to go ahead and blow all that extra oil up through into the pistons, into the cylinders, and you're going to, you know, the spark plugs are going to burn it, you're going to follow the plugs, you're definitely going to cause some problems. And on the flip side, if you don't have enough, you're not going to have enough lubricating properties, the engine's going to run hot, and you can potentially wear out some components and maybe even seize your engine, depending on how low you are on the oil. So in this case, we've gone ahead and wiped it off. It um, pretty much looked like it was okay. So you want to put that down here in the in the hole for the dipstick. You can see that. See where I'm at right there. Push it in nice and tight. Pull it up. Keep it level. And as you can see, this particular car looks like it's pretty good. And you pull it in the back. Now, if you pull it, look in the back, and you see where it's about in the middle right there, right? And then if you go and you rotate it around, that would seem to indicate that we're probably potentially could be half a quart low. This particular vehicle is a little trickier to tell because you have these ridges in there. It's kind of soak it up. So I go to the back. And I see right there, you see that line? That's pretty much where the dipstick went into the oil for the oil pan. And then you rotate it around. So it actually looks like this car is potentially about half a quart down. So what we'll do is we'll wipe it off again. And I'm going to try to get in here and get into these grooves. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, clean all that oil up out of those grooves with the towel. Now, as you can see, I've managed to clean the grooves up pretty well. And the back is clean as well. So we'll go ahead and try it one more time. Sometimes it takes more than one time to get a, an accurate reading. So you, again, just plug it in, nice and tight, pull it out, see where we're at. Yeah, it looks like we're about a quarter of a quart down. Yeah, see so you measure it there from the, right there on the back and you rotate it over. So yeah, so we're about a quarter of a quart down, possibly as much as a third of a quart. But we're definitely doing okay in terms of oil because you can see the one the one right there on the top by the max doesn't have any oil in it, the other three do. So yeah, that would indicate to me that we're about a quarter of a quart down. And if you rotate this, it's probably, Seems like it goes down a little bit more, so it's probably between a third and a quarter of a quart. Even if you want to err on the side of caution and say it's a third of a quart, we're still doing okay. So I'm not really going to do anything. I'm not going to add anything to this. Just make sure you put the dipstick back in there, people, if you can see that. Get that right in there. See? Boom. And then it's nice and tight. Um, you don't want to leave that open because that is actually an opening to the oil pan where all your oil is. And if you do leave that off, uh, there could be some pressure and some oil could potentially spurt out. So again, people, that's really all it takes to check your oil. And the next video I'll make, 
on this car I will show you how to change the oil and we'll go ahead and get with the filter and I'll show you how to top it off here and you go in the back and maybe you want to use some jack stands if, if not if your car can't get up high enough but anyway that's really how you do it check the oil people main thing is check it when it's cool so there's no more you don't have to worry about the end the oil being up in the engine I know I hear a lot of a lot of people are a little bit debating about that. Oh, you should you should check it when the when the car is warm and all that you know. But no, the car is warm. That means the oil is going to be up in the engine. It's going to be in the heads. It's going to be in the block, and it's not going to be in the pan. You're not going to be an accurate reading. Like I said before, I've actually tested a car right after I did that and run the car, and it literally said that my car was about two quarts down, and it came back about four or five hours later. And the car was only about half a quart down, so literally a quart and a half had dripped down uh, back into the oil pan in the interim. So that's really when we need to check this, people. Okay? Hope you like this video, and there'll definitely be some more to come.